Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to teach you the Christmas song, Deck the Halls. As always, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and then afterwards I'll break it down for you and explain it to you in more detail. Make sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be playing using the C chord family, but we have our capo on the second fret, so that puts us in the key of D. We're going to be using the C chord, the G chord, the A minor 7 chord, F over C, and then we have a D major thrown in here. So for strumming, we're going to be using the folk pattern, which is a four beat strum pattern. We're going to have four down strums, and then we're going to add in up strums after beat three and four. We also want to make sure to just pluck the root note of the chord for the first beat of each measure. So if I'm playing the C chord, my root note is that A string right there. That's my C note. So I'm going to start there on beat one. I'm just going to pluck that string by itself. So we have one, and then two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, Three and four and one, two, three and four and. I think probably the most complicated part of this song is some of these transitions are happening uh, in the middle of a measure. So there's some, some chords that are only lasting for half of a measure, which means that we need to switch chords in the middle of a strum pattern. And um, that can be a little bit confusing if you don't have your mind completely wrapped around the strum pattern first. So you want to make sure that you have a good grasp of the strum pattern uh, before trying to play this song. So let me explain what I'm talking about. So the part of the song where we sing fa la 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 la, that part we're going to be um, holding the G and the C chord for only two beats. They're only, each one is just going to last for two beats. So we need to be switching back and forth every two beats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the measures while I'm strumming, just like I did when I was practicing the, the, the strum pattern for you. I'll count out the beats, and then you can watch when I'm switching chords. So you'll see that I'm switching after beat two, okay? So there's one, two, switch, three, and four, and switch, one, two, switch, three, and four, and, okay? So there's a lot of switching happening, and once you can uh, kind of see this visually, Maybe it'll help you when you're trying to play the song. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and, one, two, three, and, four, and tis the season to be jolly. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. So if it helps you to count out the measures before trying to put the melody on top of this song, then definitely do that. Spend some time counting those measures out. Um, that way you can be completely focused on the strum pattern and master it before you then try to put the words and the melody on top of it. All right, I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.